I'm Mike. I'm Mary. Here we are on part three of this month's Trends and Fads unit, and it's titled Programming Your Third Language. Marty and his friend Kayla are going to be testing out a computer program that Kayla has been writing as part of her computer programming class. She is learning to code or write computer programs by using a kind of software called Python. With it, she is coding a game that she has invented and is now trying to make work. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, it is, isn't it? You think of an idea for a game, even if it's a pretty simple game, and then you write the program, telling the computer what to do, and like magic, your game will come to life. Or maybe it won't if there are too many mistakes or bugs in the program that you wrote. Right, good point. Not everything works the first time around, that's for sure. But first, before we begin to read today's dialogue, we need Mary to tell us more about the new vocabulary that we will be using. Today's dialogue continues the last lesson. Marty is playing the game Kayla wrote. Kayla says Marty needs to find a coin. The coin is a English word for coin. Coin is a noun. For example, the man dropped a coin when he took out his wallet. The man dropped a coin when he took out his wallet. 那位男人在拿出皮夹的时候掉了一枚硬币。接着 Kayla 说，要寻找硬币啊 ，Marty 必须进入 look l o o k， 而要进入到下一个房间的话，则要进入 leave l e a v e。那打字进入的英文就是 type type， 这是一个动词。例如 ，My sister types very fast. My sister types very fast. 我的姐姐打字非常的快。接下来 ，Kayla 提醒 Marty， 其中一个房间呢、啊、有一条龙哦，所以叫他要小心。这里有我们最后两个单字，第一个是 dragon， dragon， 龙，这是一个名词。例如 ，in Chinese culture， a dragon is the symbol of the emperor. In Chinese culture. A dragon is the symbol of the emperor. 在中华文化中，龙是皇帝的象征哦。那最后一个单词则是 careful, careful， 小心的、谨慎的，这是一个形容词。例如 ，Be careful not to step on that nail. Be careful not to step on that nail. 小心不要踩到那根钉子。那看完了单词和例句，让我们赶快回到故事里，看 Kayla 写的游戏好不好玩吧。Marty is testing Kayla's game. So, what do I do? You need to find a coin. To look for the coin, type "look." To go to the next room, type "leave." In one room, there's a dragon, so be careful. Hmm. I typed "look," but nothing happened. <laughs> So the dialogue for today begins with this sentence. It says, "Marty is testing Kayla's game," and Marty begins the dialogue by asking Kayla, "So what do I do?" He wants some basic ideas of how to play the game. Before we get to Kayla's answer. Let's see what Daphne has to tell us about today's first grammar point. Daphne, 大家好，我是 Daphne。今天的第一则文法是 What do I do? 意思是我要做什么。What 在这里是疑问代名词，什么的意思。使用的时候，至于句首后方的句子倒装，先说助动词 do， 再说主词 I。主词后方要用原形动词 do， 则是表示及物动词做执行的意思，合在一起。What do I do？ 字面意思就是我要做什么，用于说话者不知该如何是好的时候。例如 ，I am being stalked。What do I do？ 我被跟踪了，我该怎么办 ？So Marty wanted to know what to do, or 
how to play the game that Kayla has created. She tells him, "You need to find a coin." Okay, so that's the basic goal of the game. And she adds, "To look for the coin, type look." And that's a basic move in the game. She also tells him to go to the next room. Type leave. But here she also warns Marty about a danger he might meet as he plays the game. She says, "In one room there's a dragon, so be careful." Well, sure, you don't want to be eaten or barbecued by that dragon's fiery breath. So here we can imagine Marty typing some of these words into the computer so that he can start to play the game. But after a moment, he notices a bit of a problem. He says, "Hmm, I typed look, but nothing happened." Well, that is a problem.、Mm, it sure sounds like it. But hey, that's why they are testing the game. To find small problems or bugs just like this, and we have a small problem too. We have to take a break, but we'll be back very soon to finish the rest of the dialogue. Don't go away. Oh, you found a bug in my code. I need to fix that later. Do you know how? Finding bugs is hard. Fixing them is easier. Can you show me? Yeah. If you're interested, I'll even teach you some simple Python. Then you can write your own game. Explanation two. Welcome back. We are here to finish off the dialogue for today and the trends and fads unit for this month. Computer programming is what we are reading and learning about. And in our dialogue, it is Kayla who is taking computer programming or coding classes. Her friend Marty is helping her test her new computer game. But Marty just found a problem. When he typed in an instruction to play the game, nothing happened. This needs to be fixed. It sure does, and Kayla knows it. She says to Marty. Oh, you found a bug in my code, and she adds, "I need to fix this later." Ah, okay. So she can make a note of the problem and then go back and fix it later. That means that they can keep testing the game right now. That's right. 那刚刚对话里提到的 bug 就是一个名词，平常指的就是一些小虫子啊。但是如果使用在电脑程式上的话，指的就是程式错误哦。But Marty is curious about how Kayla will fix the bug. He asks her, "Do you know how?" And here we have our final grammar point for today. Let's check in with Daphne. 今天的第二则文法是 "Somebody knows how." 意思是某人知道该怎么做。No， 在这里是及物动词，知道的意思。How 则是名词，表示方法、做法。例如 ，Patrick is bad at gardening， but his wife knows how。派翠克不擅长园艺，但他太太很会。So Marty has just asked Kayla if she knew how to fix the bug in her game that they just found. Remember. Kayla is still learning how to write computer code. She's not an expert just yet. That's why Kayla tells Marty, "Finding bugs is hard. Fixing them is easier." Right? Computer programs have lots of lines of code. The problem or bug will be hiding in all of that information. I guess once you find it, though. It's easy to correct. It's like the expression "trying to find a needle in a haystack." Once you find the needle, it's easy to pick up, but finding it—that's the tough part. And Marty is interested in the tough part. He wants to learn how Kayla will find and fix the bug. He asks her, "Can you show me?" 
Uh-oh. I think Marty is getting hooked on computer programming. That's right. And since Kayla is also interested in it, she's happy to teach him what she knows. She says, yeah, if you're interested, I'll even teach you some simple Python. Cool. And she adds, then you can write your own game. And there you go, a new computer programmer is born. And who knows, if they stick at it, they might code a popular game or app like Candy Crush, WhatsApp, or even Fortnite Battle Royale, the most popular game in the world right now. Hey, they could be famous computer game billionaires in just a few years. Well, that would take talent, luck, and a lot of hard work. Let's just hope they stick at it long enough to learn this new computer language. Good point, Mary. It'll be great for them to learn. And if they do it together, they can have lots of fun in the process. Sounds great to me. Okay, ladies and gents, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you all back here very soon. Bye-bye. Okay. Programming your third language. Marty is testing Kayla's game. So, what do I do? You need to find a coin. To look for the coin, type look. To go to the next room, type leave. In one room, there's a dragon, so be careful. Hmm, I typed look, but nothing happened. Oh, you found a bug in my code. I need to fix that later. Do you know how? Finding bugs is hard. Fixing them is easier. Can you show me? Yeah. If you're interested, I'll even teach you some simple Python. Then you can write your own game.保持鎮定求助的三個使用句。歡迎收看就愛講英文,我是悠悠,我是J。我出門在外,希望不要發生事情,但是如果真的很倒楣,很倒楣,很倒楣的時候被搶了,被偷了,一定要保持冷靜。
记得这个非常非常的重要哦，不要忘了来看我们今天的 live action. Can you describe the items inside the stolen bag? All my valuables were in there. Um, cash, credit cards,、yes. and smartphone. I'm sorry for your loss.、Oh, I cannot believe the robbery happened in broad daylight, right in front of museum. Sorry about that. We will help you. Okay, thanks. I need a copy of the missing item report. Sure. Hurry up. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny， 又到我们一分钟的单元喽。那我们今天同样是用一分钟的时间来复习在 trends and fads 学到的四个单词。同学们准备好了没？一分钟计时开始。第一个单词是硬币，扣扣那个钱的硬币怎么说？叫做 coin。Coin. His father gave him a gold coin. 他爸爸给他一枚金币。好，再看第二单词，它叫做打字。我们用键盘打字输入这个动词要怎么说呢？叫做 type. Type. Bob used to type with two fingers. Bob 他以前都是用两根手指头在打字的，哒哒哒哒哒这样打的。好，再看第三个单词是龙。好，龙这种生物叫做英文叫做什么呢？叫做 dragon。Dragon. She was born in the year of the dragon. 她是龙年出生的，她属龙。好，第四个单词叫做小心的、谨慎的。好，这个字怎么说呢？它叫做 careful, careful. Be careful, or you could break the vase. 小心一点，否则你可能会打破那只花瓶哦。好，太好啦！我们轻轻松松就在一分钟之内复习完四个单词了。同学回去一样要多多复习，多多造句练习。那今天的 A B C Interactive English 到此为止，下次见喽，拜拜。